Example 4.3 or 5.3 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. In this example, a piston cylinder device initially contains 0.4 meter cubed or of air at 100 kilopascals and 80 degrees Celsius. The air is now compressed to a volume of 0.1 meter cubed in such a way that the temperature inside of the cylinder remains constant. We need to determine the work done during this process. Air can be treated as an ideal gas, therefore we're going to write the ideal gas law. Pressure, volume, is equal mass, gas constant, and temperature. For this problem, notice that the mass and the temperature are constant, therefore the multiplication of these three quantities is a constant. We could then say that pressure, volume, is equal to a constant. Therefore, the relationship between pressure and volume, we could write it that pressure is equal to a constant divided by the volume. Now we're going to use this in the definition of van der Waerck. Van der Waerck, once again, it is the integral from phase 1 to phase 2 of pressure as a function of the volume. We replace the definition for pressure inside of here. So we have now the integral from 1 to 2 of a constant volume dv and then we do this integral this is going to be simply c the integral of 1 over volume is simply going to be natural log of the volume and then we evaluate it from phase 1 to phase 2 therefore the boundary work is simply going to be the constant natural log of the volume 2 minus natural log of volume 1, which is simply constant, natural log of volume 2, divided by volume 1. For us to be able to substitute into this equation, we need to first find the value of C. C is defined as a multiplication of pressure of volume at any of the stages. So C could simply be P1, P1, or P2, P2. In this problem, we have the initial pressure and the initial volume. Therefore, we could see that the initial pressure is equal to 100 kilopascals. And the initial volume is equal to 0.4 meter cubed. This value is going to simply give us 40. And then the units that we get in this multiplication kilopascals are, is equal to kilonewtons per meter square. And then we multiply it by meter cubed. So this cancels with this, we get kilonewtons times meters, we becomes a kilojoule. Then we take this value of this constant C, we multiply it into this equation, and then we get that the boundary work is simply going to be 40 kilojoules, and then we have natural log of the ratio of the volumes. The final volume is equal to 0.1 meter cubed. The final, the initial volume is equal to 0.4 meter cubed. Please note that the units inside of a natural log always have to cancel out. So we have this and this. The result of this is going to give us negative 55.5 kilojoules. Notice that we have a negative value for the boundary work, which means that the work is done on the system. This also shows that the air is compressed. 